This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Hey guys, I'm in the studio. Uh, Mike Sorg here in the Mayhem Studio, Pittsburgh, PA. It is the awesome cast where we get geeky, talk tech, and have some fun here uh, in, in, in good old PA, Pittsburgh of PA. Uh, with me on the couch, we got a, we got a studio full tonight. Uh, with me, first of all, he's in Studio A. He's John Chachilla, the uh, gadget guru over Big Bank International Esquire. Hey, I'm in the studio too. It's good you to be back. in the studio. Oh, I'm it's nice to see things. the brick wall. Nice to see the brick wall. <laughs> I don't get brick walls elsewhere. You know, <laughs> I love, you're so happy about this wall behind me. I love me. the wall. <laughs> also with us is Kim Lyons, a real journalist. <laughs> it's nice. To, it's nice to have those every once in a while. Yeah, you know, who still exists? Oh, I, I'm having actually have a problem with your mic. You hear me now? Is there a switch on there? And now? there it is. It was a little loose in the back. A little loose in the back. Yes, yes. That's we need to replace said. all of our. Oh no. <laughs> we'll let that. We'll let that slide. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? <laughs> and good. and we're. Where are you writing these days? I know. It's every time I'm on, I'm like with a I, different I, I've publication. I've given up on keeping up with it. It's I know. just like I see a news it's web a sport. I'll see a new website I know. and your name attached. I know. Well, because I try to write <laughs> I try to be diverse. I want to keep my options open. So I did a piece for the New York Times recently. I've done some pieces for a new initiative in um, uh, Philadelphia called Grow PA, just about development and business and everything and you know my sort of usuals around here city papers my my peeps and i'm actually just took on a new job at inside.com where i'm managing editor for all of their tech newsletters so all the scary inside security tech news terrifying um and then lighter <laughs> stuff about you know inside uh industry stuff so people who want like a quick scan of the news about facebook or the news about apple you know so it's sort of all contained in one newsletter and and everyone loves it. Like when you when you, when you get the scary security ones, or you're like, oh god, I hope it's a good one. I hope it's a fun one next. No, it's never a fun one. But you know, <laughs> I feel like I at least will know when something is coming, right. or I'll know what happened. Um, I won't be able to do anything about it, mm-hmm. but at least I'll know. Okay, this is why. You know, the banking system has gone down, or whatever. You know? So there's an inside podcasting. How do we yep. get our show on? that newsletter? Well, well, well. <laughs> 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 Consider that request. No, there's, yeah, we have a lot of different verticals. At, I think we have 25 total now. We just launched Jeez. Inside Bitcoin, which is there's a ton. wildly like, I want to click on all of them. You should for subscribe to them all right now. Is this, yeah. this isn't the Jason Calacanis thing, it is. is it? It is. Yep. I've heard of this. Yes. Yeah, because he just, like, he's do, just did his own newsletters. Yep. Yeah, and yep. he started with like a couple of them, and he just keeps pounding them out. Yeah, so the like, big one is Inside Daily Brief, and that's yeah. you know sort of the overview of the news and kind of aggregated news. And then there's just different based on sort of you know voting of people. Would you subscribe to this? And when they get to a certain subscriber, you know, pre-subscription, then they launch it. So the most recent one we launched was Inside Space, which is kind of fun. Mm. Um, Inside Bitcoin was is a huge new one that's just really has taken off to beyond I think even what we expected. Uh, but then you know there's inside Apple, inside Facebook, inside podcasting, inside AI, um, so all different sectors, you know, tech and some you know more general ones. Like there's inside Trump, which is wildly <laughs> popular as well. Um, Wait, is that the WTF newsletter that I subscribe to? No, no, no. Inside Trump is a whole separate animal, and we have our the editor in chief of of Inside.com. It's sort of his, you know, whether he likes it or not, his baby, and he 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 really works really hard to find good balanced trump coverage but man the responses to that are interesting they're very invested readers yeah, which you're is not, good you're not going to win that fight no, uh, you're not. from from opinion no, at least yeah no he does a really nice job of keeping it very balanced and mm-hmm. even and, handed more yep. i think more than i could probably but but yeah so it's been about a month it's really interesting um, it's working entirely remotely cuz they're based in san francisco um, and you know part of my job is helping you know, when Jason goes on CNBC or when he's talking about it, it's just to help him get prepped for that kind of stuff. So, yeah. and working, helping on his podcast as well, uh, This Week in Startups, which is, you know, coming up soon. I have to do some work on that. So, yeah, it's a little bit of everything. Um, but Inside Podcasting is one you should definitely subscribe to. It's one of our 
fun ones. Inside yeah. Inside deals would just cost me money. Inside deals, <laughs> I know. Antic selection of products, deals, and ways to save money. Yeah. yeah, ways, <laughs> yeah. That, ways that I will just dump loads of that's, money. And that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. Right. Exactly. So that's, awesome. so that's where I am. Doing a little bit of everything. That's good. As usual. That's good. Hey, it's, it, it's, there's a lot of opportunity out there. There is. You know, so. I mean, just you know, willing to hustle and you know, yep. show up and have good ideas. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, we also have Katie here. Uh, Kay, Katie Dudas, the Dudders, is Hi. with us. Uh, uh, marketing and social media and such over at the Scare House. What, Scare House. Okay. What day of the week do we do Scare House Weekly Live? Friday. Yay! Yay! That's the first time you've gotten it right. <laughs> it's taken me about a month. Yes. It's taken me about a month. I finally got it. So, awesome. I think everything's going well over there. Oh, yeah. Crazy busy. It's Crazy, been fun. Yep. Yeah. Awesome! It's awesome. gonna get only busier too. So they 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 they, they drop in in, in uh, Facebook Live usually from somewhere at the scare house, mm-hmm. and you're chatting with somebody for a good like 15, 20 minutes yep. and uh, interacting the with them, mm-hmm. and running around the haunt. Yeah, <laughs> look, what can I show you? What what can I not show you? What can hey, I show? look at this thing that used to be a wall. Hey, hey, here's the dog. Uh, <laughs> yep, occasionally, <laughs> gotta have your random dogs. And also having fun with three sixty photos. I love to find the clown one that that popped up on Twitter a few oh, days ago. So. <laughs> talked about so um but uh yeah so this is our 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 wild collection of people uh from all walks of the medias and the internets and 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 such and content creation uh so and and we try to represent the flyover state of pittsburgh uh in in kind of tech opinions and and everything uh what's going on in the week or what we're finding that's really cool uh you can follow us we're over at awesomecast.com you subscribe to us on itunes stitcher spreaker iheart radio or uh, the video versions on the Facebook and YouTube page for Awesome Cast. You can uh, join us here live Tuesdays. Generally, you can use that live.awesomecast.net at 7 p.m. Eastern. And we are typically on Facebook. And I'm done traveling for a while. So none of those weird Google Hangout, it doesn't work in my hotel things for a while. So we're back to to the regular schedule for the most part. Also, thanks to our streaming partners, uh, RiversEdgePGH.com, that have been carrying us over there. Um, uh, So please uh, support them. They are local, and they have a lot of great talk and everything going on. And uh, uh, good good to hear that those guys are back on their feet after there was a fire at their studio over in Millville uh, last week, I think it was. Um, so, uh, they, they got some new digs and I don't know if they've announced anything with that yet, but it sounds like it's, it's working out, um, in their favor. Um, they're not going to have to do the show from a cafe <laughs> as they were doing for a little bit there. And also thanks to our friends at the four media.com that when I look at that site, I don't know why they have us on there, but we appreciate them, uh, getting us in front of some more people there. And we're there, uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time, five days a week. You can listen to us if you listen to their feed. Um, so go check that out. Thanks to our friends that are, yes, Missy. So what time is 9 a.m. Pacific time? That is 12. And I got really messed up because I was in central time last week. So, uh, <laughs> but no, that's noon here on the East coast. Yeah. Since a lot of you guys I've are learned in that conversion because everyone that I work with is based in San Francisco. So oh, um, yeah. my I, family lives out there. So I'm yeah. just, I was testing his math skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> early, early phone calls. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah right. Why, why like, has oh, everybody emailed me already? We have to start this at seven o'clock. I'm like, yeah, that's 11 o'clock for me or 10 o'clock for me. So I'm good. Yeah, we, we're all right. Yeah. We're all right. Um, but <laughs> thanks to our friends, patreon.com slash awesomecast that are supporting the show, $5 Coffee Club with Matt Weller, Matt, one T underscore Weller on the Twitters, as well as our uh, fan of the show, uh, Michael Fedor at Mike Fedor's show on the Twitter as well. Thank you guys for supporting the show for a good long time now. So uh, let's get into our awesome thing of the week as I'm watching Katie just play with, are you playing Snapchat? Is this a yes. picture? What's happening over here? Video snap. Is video snap? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, These I'm just doing things over here. Snapchat. <laughs> I wanted to see it. Do another one. <laughs> Who wants to go first with their awesome thing of the week? I can go first. Sure. Yeah, I'll barge to the front of the line. Go ahead. So my awesome thing of the week is, um, so climate change is a very big thing, whether you admit it or not, it's a thing. So this um, is a project, I guess it's in Australia, an Australian engineer hoping to use drones to plant 1 billion trees every year to fight an unfolding global catastrophe. Listen to that lead, it's really dramatic. So what they're doing is, since deforestation is such a big problem, they're using drones to plant seeds because it's, they can just do it much more efficiently that way. So they're gonna, they're gonna plant all these trees, it's gonna help with deforestation, it's gonna you know, provide the environment. So it's like my two favorite thing, drones and, and the environment coming together. And it just sounded like such a really good, cool idea. Why hadn't someone thought of this sooner? 
Sorry. That's all right. I love hearing myself talk. So that was fine. But so I thought that was really cool. And I think just drones are one of those things that until people see it in action and like what the potential is, like, oh, it's really cool. You have a drone. You're flying over the baseball game. But then there's like really cool, practical, real world applications that can have you know, really good impact. So I thought that was a really cool thing. It's kind of, it's kind isn't it kind of like um, they're replacing like bees and stuff and, uh, you know, like that whole idea that the birds and everything spread all the, all the, seeds well because yeah we've killed them all off yeah you know, we've ruined their <laughs> we've ruined their habitat yeah yeah so we just everything so. we just replaced them with with robot birds with robot birds <laughs> sure <laughs> sure yeah. exactly finally we're coming around and you know repairing some of the damage we've done so and this is actually very familiar. i think this is the one that we did a project on this is that one um um ib drone looks like it's pictured here it looks very familiar um that they were using for telemetry on with one of the clients i was working with so that's awesome yeah Pretty cool. And was this ABC Australia ABC? Yeah, I'm very diverse in my news sources. I have a very, <laughs> a very diverse news diet, so awesome. I read everything. There you go. Drones are planting trees. I want bee drones because I have problems with pollination on my plants in the back. Like mini, no, so that's a, that's the point where we get these mini bug drones, mm -hmm. and I think we've all mm -hmm. seen that movie, Kate. Yeah, Which it one? doesn't end well. Is, is that the one with Tom Selleck with the robots? Oh, <laughs> <in> the <laughs> 80s. Have you ever seen that movie? No, I don't. He's the, the cop. What, where he's the cop. <laughs> he's the cop, and the guy creates like these, like they look like spiders. Are you confusing like that robots. with? Oh, oh no, I don't know that. Wow. Oh, <laughs> it's an old eighties flick. Check it out. Oh, uh, it's quality. It's quality. <laughs> Chilla is super excited about that. <laughs> Amazing. It's it's like it, I would say it's like the hackers of robotics. <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> what, what, watch yourself. Wow. <laughs> the scene where they're hacking the Gibson. Yeah, this is the same type of thing. <laughs> is, is, is Ben Gillette still in that one as well? No. Explaining everything that's going on to the rest of us. No, but I'm going to find the name of this movie now. <laughs> okay, we'll have to do a watch party later. Uh, <laughs> Chilla, since we're on you, what, what's your awesome thing? So here? Uh, mine is a indoor antenna um, called the Mohus? Mo Mohu? 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 Moha? No. But M O H U. Oh yeah. So I sorry, the the link actually had M O H U S, which is what mm. I was looking at. It's Mohu's. Okay, Mohu's latest indoor antenna. Um I'm big on indoor antennas because a lot of my TVs don't run off cable. Um I'm mm. actually really really contemplating going back to cutting the cord. Um this device is an upgrade from their last device. Their last device got a, a 50 mile range. Um, this is probably something big for you because I know you have issues picking up. Was it ABC? Yes, but to be honest, I can't remember the last time I turned on a network television okay. channel. I, I there's a box on that TV. There's a box on the other TVs, and I cannot remember the last time I switched over to it. So, so that um, this gets 65 miles, which I personally find interesting because I can, you could at that range you're starting to pick up other cities content yeah we're getting um, like wheeling at that point right yeah and the, the um, i'm seeing some like is some far off towns that have kind of their own public access broadcast Ooh. and stuff like that like um, are you getting johnstown on that thing <laughs> yeah, you, i i haven't got this one yet yeah. um i haven't gotten johnstown on the one i've built my own antennas um that have, have worked pretty well i've bought some some low-end ones at radio Sh when radio shack was going out of business i scarfed up a couple of them um I'm really interested to try this out. It does come in a little bit of high of a price point at ninety dollars, but also at ninety dollars, it's a one-time fee, where your cable probably costs you ninety dollars a month. This is ninety dollars. Obviously, you're not gonna, you're going to have to find something else to handle your DVR. Mm -hmm. But the other thing of interest that I've noticed is TiVo is dropping for over the air. For their over-the-air DVRs, they're dropping their monthly service fee. It's a one-time cost. It's not bad. And there's a lot of companies, like I think it's called Channels, for actually for Apple TV, that the I, the Apple TV app does the DVR itself. Um, so it's something definitely of interest to me to kind of go back. I For where I need my HBO and whatnot, I can, I can pick it up, and I actually want to move those accounts over to Amazon services. Because it's a lot easier to add and drop over time, um, but I don't know. This this looks like a pretty cool cool antenna, and it's super thin. It kind of suction cups to your window. Um, <laughs> so so now, but now you're taking up this big space on your window, right? But I mean, so right now the 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 
the room my antenna is in, because I have it reverse fed through the house, um, it's actually in a window that's kind of covered up by a desk anyway. Mm-hmm. Like the the desk comes up, it has high walls on it, and you can't see the antenna over there anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. Okay. Um, from that perspective, I mean, these types of things you could put in a guest room, you could put almost anywhere. Um, I am also interested in the fact that they, they have one that they're, they're launching one that's going to be wireless, which I think is an interesting concept. Because one of the things that I didn't do at the new house that I actually did at the old apartment was I put the antenna in every window to figure out what window had the best reception for all my channels. With the wireless, I don't have to worry about some crazy reverse feed and testing on a on a, on a flat panel that I carry around. Mm-hmm. Um, so the wireless one, I could kind of move it around and figure out what I get in which rooms. So super exciting. So it's the Mohu, and is that available now? I'm pretty sure it's available. That one's available now. It's available on um, direct from them or Amazon. It costs ninety dollars. The wireless one is not available yet. Okay. Awesome. So um, my awesome thing is a little bit. Hopefully this link works here. The heck. It's definitely not the link in the document. I think. Oh, no, I didn't put anything up, up, up there yet. Sorry, my mouse is getting all kinds of weird over here. Uh, Katie, what, what's your awesome thing while mine, mine's loading? I just changed it. It was originally just, something else. Oh, now, no, now I have to pull that up. It's Okay, we have to thank Mad Mike for this one. Uh, it's a ranch, ranch dressing fountain. <laughs> if you are a fan of ranch dressing, oh this is a fountain that you can buy from the theflavorgallery.com, which is Hidden Valley Ranch's new store. They have an online store. So for, what is it, $80, you can have, $89, you can have your own ranch fountain, similar to a chocolate fountain. So this is perfect for parties. Uh, if you have slice on Broadway pizza, the buffalo chicken, and you want to put Ooh, ranch on it, whoa. you need a ranch fountain. That's what it kind of, looks like in, kind of looks like in the picture, too. Yeah. It made me really oh. hungry. I'm so glad we have pizza in studio. Thank you, Slice on Broadway. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I, I would worry dipping my wing into this, like if you had a nice drippy sauce, yeah. is it going to then <gasps> Then turn you have this... hot ranch. <laughs> That could be good for me, yeah. but others may not enjoy it. Mm-hmm. This is why you need one for each person. Wow. I want one big enough to bathe in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and also ranch dressing. And I just bathe in ranch, ranch dressing. Yes. <laughs> and can we make it a pokey stuff? Yes. <laughs> or a gym? Yes. Oh, jeez, I didn't even get into that. <laughs> There's definitely some new news on, on the Pokemon front this week. Um, oh, so many ads. What the hell? What's happening over there? It's just, it's loading all the ads and not the YouTube video. So I can't get to your ranch fountain. You uh, can't. No. I was uh, here, you, you can use the other link. You can go to the store directly, flavor, flavorgallery.com, Ooh. where you can see Peace, Love, and Ranch t-shirts, bags, a jewel encrusted bottle of ranch <laughs> for fifty dollars. Sure. And <laughs> is the jewel encrusted no one is that reusable or is that fifty dollars a pop? Uh, I think it's fifty dollars a pop. It literally looks like someone's glued jewels onto a bottle of they ranch. Be dazzled. <laughs> it's homemade. It's handmade. It's, it's handmade. handmade. So yeah, that's why I think it's so expensive. Um, you can get your own backpack, ranch backpack, ranch hat, uh, bottle cozy, which is my favorite. It <laughs> says ranch, ranch out warm? with Hidden Valley. <laughs> So for the ranch lover in your life, Hidden Valley has you covered. Wow. It's, awesome. it's, it's, it's a great amazing. country we live in, isn't it? Right. You can have a I ranch love life. Oh, we did page the two. The things we've taken the time to, yeah? We do have a chat we have a ch- comment okay. with regard to the ranch fountain. Okay. Bobby Cherry says, oh I my love God. ranch dressing, but the thought of a ranch dressing fountain just seems gross. This is why Bobby's not on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Fake news. Yeah. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> ranch is the best. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, is is there is there an inside ranch? Oh my gosh, what Ooh. a great idea! Because obviously there's some there's kind market of market for it. for it. So someone is going to yeah read this. I, is there enough ranch content out there to sustain a weekly newsletter? I'll have to do some research and get back to you. Mm-hmm. Well, Stay ranch tuned. is everywhere. Oh, it so. sure is. No joke. Mm-hmm. Yep. There you do. Go. You could start it off as inside dipping sauces. Inside sauce. Mm. Mm. Inside sauce. Inside sauce. Inside sauce. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, got, I got the video. And then, and then if difference. ranch gets enough, oh, yeah, you can put your Cheetos in there. Spin it off. Look, yeah. broccoli. Wow, that's that's some premium content right there. Jeez. There's whole restaurants devoted I, to ranch. And oh I God. see if you you yes. could recommend one and get sponsorship. I oh bet you gosh. Hidden Valley might start a sponsorship. Wow. Mm-hmm. 
like, guys, I'm going to go and like log on to work tomorrow. And then you'd be like, what, what have you been doing in your spare time with all these great ideas? And you're like, they just come to me. Just ranchy came magic. Into my head idea for a ranch <laughs> newsletter. It all started with a ranch fountain. Started with a ranch fountain. As most great ideas do. <laughs> Can we go up for the studio? <laughs> well, hey, you know, I'm not cleaning it, though. Uh, <laughs> See, that's the drawback. Ooh, like, right there. Yeah. yeah, clean yeah. Now, then, then there's this whole, like, ranch fountain cleaning service you have to do. Mm. You know, and that that's where they get you. It's like, yeah. it's like. Like a monthly fee. To it's like ink that's cartridges. Right. That's where they get you. Right. All <laughs> right. So this one I was really excited about when, when, when I found this video. A guy, uh, a developer uh, in New York City used um, uh, HoloLens. And he recreated the first level of Super Mario Brothers in augmented reality. And went to Central Park. Dressed as Mario. You can see him up in the corner of the video if you're with us on the video. Are we sure that's not Bobby Cherry? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, wait, why is this not working? I can't get his menu to go away, but you get the idea. Uh, so you actually see him, his motions. And, and yeah, it's, it's not like straight. He's actually, you know, he can't jump on top of the bricks or anything like that, but it's all reacting and he's getting the, the mushrooms. And I, lo I love this effect. So when he picks up the mushroom, everything else shrinks around him. Instead of him, you know, getting, since he's, he can't get larger. Because he's super, oh. right? So like he had to work around these like ideas. And he's actually jumping on the on the Goombas and stuff. You see him hopping there and uh, getting them. And uh, yeah, and he just walks the entire first level that he recreated uh, here. So, I mean, this is just a really fun thing. And, 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 and you get to a certain point, and there's pits, and he's looking down the pits and everything, and they look pretty cool, and like there's depth to them. Like it looks like a pit that you're going to fall down into. And uh, then like people are walking by because <laughs> <laughs> it's new york city central park in the middle of the day so and so they're kind of looking at him weird as he's doing this thing uh so i feel like there had to be weirder things going on in central park well that and, is true you know, that is true just like, in general like they, they think that he's one of those those uh uh you know like the picture elmo trying to <laughs> trying to get pictures with kids for right. money so but so, uh, what happens if he got like would it reset him back on the level if he got hit? Or how did that work? I don't and how did the flag work at the end? <laughs> okay, I'll try to bump up into that. I don't think there's like a you got hit and die mechanism to, to this. Let's see. You go here. I like the fireball pinchy thing. All the, all the, all the uh, it, it was really just you touched the flag and it comes down. Oh, uh, okay. So, I mean, there's, you know, there's, there's some <clears throat> concessions here. There he goes. The timer ended in a multiple of three. He got multiple. Does it do fireworks? Yeah, check it out. He's going to walk into the, the castle. And there's that little, there's another flag there for the castle. And he hits it. It goes up. And there's fireworks. You never get to do this part. Mario. No, you don't get to do this This is part. like the hidden behind the scenes stuff. Yep, <laughs> yep. You never knew what it was like in that castle. It just kind of looks like a fort. But yeah, no. It, you have better brick walls. I have. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a fan of my brick wall here. Thank you, Larry, for putting that up. Um, like I can't wait to be able to plug your company. Uh, but uh, <laughs> oh, oh no! What is the pull apart cheeseburger sliders? I went to the next video on that ranch fountain. <laughs> oh yes. Oh no. It gets ugly. Oh no. I'm getting hungry, but at least we have slice on Broadway, guys. Uh, thank you to our friends supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Uh, you know they've been doing that for a good long time here. Our good friends in the neighborhood. Uh, here in Slice on Broadway, um, as well as there on uh, Main Street in Carnegie, PA, as well as PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, where they do fun stuff like make dough Stanley Cups, because why not, right? Uh, Rico and the guys all, all have been really cool to us over the years. Please go support them, SliceOnBroadway.com, now with online ordering, uh, and uh, that means there's less... There's less reason to fewer, fewer not deliver. You and your pizza. What's that? Fewer barriers between you and your yes, pizza. Yes, fewer barriers yeah. between you and your pizza. If you are if you are a antisocial shut in, <laughs> which you know we've all had our moments, um, then uh, then uh, you can get your pizza. So uh, go check them out. Sliceonbroadway.com. Thanks for supporting the show. All right. Yes. Real quick. No. 1984 Runaway. Tom Selleck. In the near future. A police officer specializes in malfunctioning robots. <laughs> when a robot turns out to have been programmed to kill, he begins to un under uncover a homicidal plot to create killer robots, and his son becomes a target. Uh, dun, Highly recommend. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I feel like that's like an idea for a scarehouse yes. theme, like killer robots. I thought oh, you were going to say Tom Selleck. 
Oh. <laughs> <More> Tom Selleck. <laughs> Tom Selleck. <laughs> Featuring Tom Selleck. <laughs> Pretty scary, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. I like this idea. Oh, jeez. Chill out. Tell us your app of the week. So, um, I was... I'm constantly looking for ways to increase my productivity on my iPad. Um, I've been using it more and more, and my other larger devices less and less where applicable. Um, one of the things that... And, and I actually... My sister and I... Or we're out and she's like, well, how do I, how do I slow down time in iMovie on my phone? I'm like, oh boy, I have no clue. And, and we muddled through it with some Google searches and whatnot, but it wasn't the prettiest interface. It also wasn't um, the most, it wasn't very intuitive or capable, <laughs> um, especially as I start to graduate to Final Cut. Um, Luma Fusion is an iPad video editing app and, um, 9 to 5 Mac calls it the one we've been waiting for. They kind of compare it to Corel's Pinnacle Studio, which is actually pretty good, but also not very intuitive. Um, this kind of takes it to the next degree. Oh, wow. Um, you can mark your in and out points. You can create all kinds of different um, frame rates. Uh, the 9 to Five's created a, a nice video walkthrough. Multiple audio video tracks, voiceover. I like the voiceover piece, and where I f- find use in this is now that if because like in iOS 11, I can screen record. I can do my screen records and then clean up my voiceovers after the fact, um, which is something I, I kind of do in a multi-step workflow today on my Mac. Um, this kind of moves it all to the device. Um, I, I just look at it, the, the frame and fit editor I really like, and it's something that I actually have issues with in iMovie. Um, so I'm, I'm really interested in this. It does come in, come in at a $20 price point, um, but that's obviously $20 one time. It's You're not playing, paying for Creative Cloud. Um, iMovie, I know, is inherent in the device and free, but Final Cut kind of comes in at an extremely expensive price when you compare it to $20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, but also consider Final Cut used to be like 1200 Right. Yeah. So, no, and I totally agree. I'm not, I'm yeah. not knocking Final Cut yeah. at all. I'm just looking for, from a mobile perspective. I feel like if it's not 99 cents or free, people are like, I'm not dealing with that. 20 yeah, bucks. But, but again, you get a very capable uh, video editor for 20 yeah. bucks you said and, and those yeah the 20 bucks and those, those same people are also dropping probably 80 bucks a month on candy crush candy so right right exactly. <laughs> like that, in perspective. they won't pay for the upfront for an app that they actually get some use out of right but mm-hmm. they'll pay the the power-ups or the you and know. pokeballs right exactly. yeah yeah exactly so I, i'm definitely interested in this i I'm, I'm i'm a little nervous for them because how apple has really set up um ios 11 is this full capable full workflow laptop type workstation i'm really wondering if we're going to see some kind of version of final cut especially as adobe has stated they're bringing all of their photoshop and lightroom apps to ios due to the the recent updates in full functionality wow so I'm worried. I'm worried, and I'm gonna feel really bad if this is the case for this company because they seem to put some time, effort, and, right, and it right. looks really. They're good. not gonna compete with Adobe. Well, not only the well, but Adobe didn't say anything about Premiere. They said Photoshop mm. Lightroom. So who knows what they're gonna do with Premiere? But I'm more worried that Apple's gonna do something and say, if you're a Final Cut user, you get yeah. this Final Cut for your Mac or for your iPad. Um, and that's where I would see a lot of these capabilities coming in because I haven't seen a lot of updates to to capability on iMovie on the iPad or iPhone. I mean, they did they did some stuff a while back, but nothing recent. So I'm wondering if we're going to see more attention paid to that, especially as they they built that that new video recording app. I'm looking through these pictures and the stuff they go into. Like, there's some really high end stuff in here. Well, and when you think about the way that the silicone and the chip was meant for encoding, decoding, and encoding video. Yeah. I mean, that's where I feel like you're really going to get the bang out of the iPad. That's that's why I was I was listening to something. <clears throat> they were just making the statement that, like, with the like the new iPad, like the new regular-sized <laughs> iPad. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Um, like, they're saying, you know, th- this isn't power for the stuff you're doing today. It's for the stuff you're going to be doing tomorrow with AR and all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. So, and including stuff like this. I think about that. I mean, that's the same kind of thing. You're it's trying to encode and decode video on the fly and place mm. it on objects and do all kinds of extra work. Wow. Um, 
so I'm, I'm, I, I hope this company sticks around. I hope they, they have a good long run before they get Sherlocked. Um, I definitely plan on spending my 20 bucks on it because this is even perfect for, you know, I'm on vacation. I don't feel like taking a bunch of equipment with me. I can pack a GoPro and this and a, a camera card converter for my iPad and boom. I have all the content from my phone, all the content from a GoPro, and I can sit down and mess around with something while Christopher goes to sleep at night. Okay. Yeah. It's inevitable that there's a final cut. Like, I mean, it is definitely inevitable that we get stuff in that form factor that's comparable that, you know, I can eventually throw away my MacBook. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just it's just kind of like how long is it going to take for them to figure out, uh, you know, between power and control, I guess. So, so uh, uh, Christopher Whitlatch is always uh, kind of keeping us uh, in 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 the know for uh, games and, and AR and VR, and uh, he shared with us uh, this week. Apparently in Seattle, because Seattle, uh, Ballard's new virtual reality arcade uh, in Se- in Seattle uh, looks pretty cool. They have these like cubes that you go into, <laughs> so they're very solitary, right? <laughs> so, but uh, but uh, it's kind of just a internet cafe uh, for for virtual reality. Look look, they got plants and everything. It's very it's very Seattle. <laughs> So, and they're not virtual, and they're not virtual plants, you know. Uh, so it's pretty cool. So, so these are popping up now. It's just kind of inevitable at this point, you know. Of course, I mean, we do have looking for group and things like that that are happening uh, here here in the area, and they have these kinds of things, but you know, not not solely a uh, VR kind of setup. There was something um, I did. Um, I was at Formula uh, SAE Formula competition last week in Nebraska. Yes, Nebraska. They do have internet, um, <laughs> and uh, and it w- somebody was talking about because they they had to do presentations. They were talking about how they needed to get projectors and stuff, and the one guy's like, "Oh yeah, just to get out of the library." And the guy's like, "Oh, I've 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 taken vibes out of the library." So it's like, what? so whatever school they were in, you can get a Vive VR unit out of the library and check it out. You gotta think they're going to technical schools. So, like, they're probably developing for it. That's like filmmakers around here where, I mean, you can get some high-end cameras for, for doing right, your own work. Right, right. And I think you're going to have that kind of situation. <clears throat> Again, these are technical schools, engineering schools, you know, you know, whatnot. So, it's like, that is, that's a real tool, you know, for, for somebody to, to, to be working on. So, but just like that idea that you can just, like, check out a vibe. It's like, you know, I'm just, and then I'm just picturing somebody, like, like getting one and having to set up all the, all the cameras in their dorm room. You know, yeah, and <laughs> you need all that space thing. for it, and then you, you need, need a computer to power it. Right, like, that's a, right, right, right. You so. go, you go in, you go into the library with a cart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to check out the Vive kit and your and 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 the computer to run it and that and and yeah. Do you have a Gear VR? No, okay. I, I'd imagine that'd be easier for them to have even on hand in general, is something like that. So uh, just libraries, school libraries always have crazy, crazy stuff. Like I, re- I remember a, a, a friend that was on one of the Penn State campuses, and he's he just could get any Microsoft Office or Windows, and it just had that license that will just let you put it anywhere. So uh, yeah, yes, yes, producer Missy. You do realize that I am picturing like all of this high tech gear and like a three sixty like VR helmet thing with one of those library cards that where you put the card into it <laughs> from the eighties. <laughs> stamped <laughs> yeah stamped for time out <laughs> yeah exactly it's a nickel a day if you, you return you, it you, put, you put that card <laughs> well you put that card in the back of the helmet or something so yeah I they still do that they don't know they, they don't no, do that they get Carnegie like, it's all like if, if it's yeah, if it's not return on time it just disables itself yeah it just, it just, <laughs> it just disintegrates um, but Katie uh, you have been exploring Snapchat features to some hilarious effect lately yeah because what else are you gonna do with something that tells everybody where you're at at all times well not at all times I don't want to oversell it um, so Snapchat released these Snap Maps if you're not familiar with those um, do an update and you will have a Snap Map. To access your Snap Map, which I actually had to look up because I'm not a kid and can figure this I out. I had a hell of a time trying to find I, it, it on the way no back sense. yesterday. Yeah. So, so essentially, if you're in your Snapchat and you're like, I want to see what a Snap Map is, um, if you kind of pinch the screen like beep, with your fingers together, then it pulls out and you suddenly have a Snap Map. And on your Snap Map are all your friends that have updated the app, obviously, to that point to have a Snap Map. And then the ones that are allowing you to see them. You can kind of ghost yourself on these where you go into the settings and you can only be seen by certain people or not at all. 
So essentially, you can see down to the street where people are located at in Ooh. your Snap Map. I wonder what happens if you tell like iOS or Android that it's not allowed to use your location. It probably just turns off the feature. Turns off then. the feature. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Because that's one way to do it. You can get around <laughs> it that way. Um, you so it only updates your location when you open the app. It's not running in the background, so okay. it's not constantly sending out the information. So if you just wanted to is, snap, is that why there's never anybody on my map? Yeah, probably. Okay, <laughs> but Bobby's on there all the time. Yeah, so wait, so if the app's open, it shows you on the map, but if the app's in the background, it shows your last location. Yep, last time you opened it. Uh. <laughs> So some of the cool things, and I, I gave you a couple photos on there because <laughs> some local things. Uh, that was just my map, and I look like I'm I, I'm enjoying just opening the map to see my face and what I'm doing and who I'm looking at and who's together. Because um, I sent there's another link. Uh, Board Panda had a great list of people going. Ooh, why is my boyfriend at my best friend's house? And <laughs> all why is everybody having a party? And you said you were going to your grandma's, and your grandma looks pretty young. <laughs> But the other cool thing is if you look on the map, there's it kind of looks like radar. There's either green or blue or red on the map, these little hot spots. Essentially, that means there's a lot of people sending snaps in that particular location. Um, I sent a, I put a picture of the Pittsburgh Zoo at the point. this point. Um, you can see on the zoo um, where in the is, is getting most of the photos. And if you click on that, so you're like, I'm bored. It's Saturday. If you're cool and you're like, I want to go out on a Saturday night and I want to know where everybody's at and where they're all snapping from or if there's an event. You touch that hotspot, and then it'll go and tell you. Like, um, there was a bunch on the north side um, because it was Randy Land. So a lot of people have been snapping from Randy Land. So, I mean, just kind of, it could be wherever is a congregation of people snapping from that particular location. And But it's also cool because the locations have their own snap. Like, Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium it shows up on the map. Kennywood shows up on the map because there's so many people essentially snapping and checking into those locations. <laughs> I want to Instagram story you as you we're talking even, about Snapchat. So wait, you can actually tap on the map too. Like there was nobody in the one location. Like I'm out in Etna and Lancaster. If I just I just tapped on the map, and it like gave me someone's random. Yeah, Thornville, Ohio. Like here's a speedboat going down the river. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you click anywhere, if there's a snap near it, you just have you're very lucky. But, there, but there's no there's no I got I got two like in Ohio. Like, I, I just keep bringing up random snaps. This is really creepy and interesting. I know! It's <laughs> and horrible! Apparently, and apparently that's, like, the broad reaction, too, right? Is it's, it's creepy. Like, and here's a kid opening his birthday presents in Old yeah. North Dayton. Dayton now, I, now like, Instagram has this, too. And where the, with the location... You got a drone, by the way. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh But, but they, they have that, too, where it's very, like, city-focused. And mm -hmm. then you can you can check out locations. That's what with stories like I've seen. I've been starting to make sure I tag a location when I, wherever I go, and now that'll pop up in Pittsburgh story or. Oh, there's mm -hmm. a heat map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that neat? Because there's also like events like the subway derailment. There's a bunch of it's featured. The healthcare bill protest is featured, so you can actually go to those events and see what people are snapping about them. Can I be the wet blanket and say it seems like this could raise all kind of privacy slash safety concerns oh, yeah. like <laughs> but, you, but you have the option to ghost and you have yeah. the, you have the and option the, to what's the default at the phone level but at the phone level every phone has to prompt right. you saying correct mm -hmm. yeah hey do you whether it's android your, or ios right. do you want this to have yeah, access yeah, to sure. your location services by the way everybody as listening. soon as as soon as you access the snap map the very first question that comes up is what do you want to do from your perspective and then so I can just select it's, certain when friends. You're in, so when you open the map, it gives you the option right. to set your setting, and then there's a gear of what you... Wait, who can see my location, friends, select yeah. friends, mm -hmm. ghost mode. All right. But I. But now here's what I wonder. So... Oh, it's terrifying. But how does it stop. just... How am I able... Because, I, I mean, I don't typically... I, I only go on Snapchat and look at like the people I know and their stories, and very rarely do I use it as like a messaging service. Like occasionally, my soon-to-be brother-in-law will send me messages. But how would I go watch someone that's not my friend in today's environment? In the old days of Snapchat, before the map, if I wanted to go and just see all the snaps going on right now, was there a real way to do that? And how all do the snaps going on like that are not that are not your friends? Yeah. Uh, the closest is like Pittsburgh stories. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Now 
I can start to go around the map and start to hunt and peck and find people. Yeah. And that to me is kind of creepy. But it, but also but everybody that's well I guess not turned off the default right yeah mm-hmm. so and, and especially so you've had Snapchat that was the this is the thing that goes away between you and one other person right. to this is the thing that I do and it sh- goes away in twenty four hours to this is the thing that I do and it sh- goes away in twenty four hours while I've attached it to a location and now you can search that location mm-hmm. so does the location based stuff go away in twenty four hours too well if it snaps right. It I would guess. Be, I think I the only know. thing that doesn't go away in 24 hours is something that like I send directly to you. I think. Because mm-hmm. that goes away after you view mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So, I have no idea. So it's like these different interesting new levels. But unfortunately, I think the people that know the first kind of circle of Snapchat uh, uh, where everything just kind of disappears thinks doesn't know, maybe doesn't comprehend that like that 24 hour thing plus the location yeah. so i think that's yeah. where you're kind of seeing this being a creepy problem yeah oh, this yeah, is terrifying bit. yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is this is i mean as much as i enjoy it this is terrifying bobby cherry bobby cherry in the chat i'll pull it up here in a second by the way i, I was i was i'm sorry i was I slightly interrupted I, uh, now i have everybody uh hit me up on snapchat finding me so mm-hmm. wait i'm in snapchat this is in the chat room this is not right uh so um but I, well, hey, hey, something Instagram doesn't also have at least, right? Yet. Yet. Yeah. Wait till tomorrow. Wait till mm-hmm. tomorrow. Exactly. Wait till the next app. Look update. at this map snap thing we have. Uh, Bobby says a sna- uh, snap nap snap. Oh, damn it. Snap map. Snap, snap map. Jeez. <laughs> is uh, is neat to see all sorts of events this weekend. I was looking at events like the N- NYC Pride, music mm-hmm. concerts in mm-hmm. other states, other amusement parks, etc. It's very cool. Is it international? <laughs> is yeah it? is it oh, yes uh, awesome so you can just like so all the uk festivals i can go snoop on people yeah you can go peek in on those so and, and i think that's where this if is... i can figure out how to pinch to that again okay. yeah yeah you guys... it, it takes practice because i just kept going to another menu it's another gesture I, like Let's when you're like see. there can't be there's not another direction to slide things and they're like <laughs> i'll just pinch it like what <laughs> so i guess yeah it doesn't look like all of the well i'm in pakistan oh well, let me look <laughs> is Ken, it's is Bobby at Kennywood watching us? Because that's that's a very high percentage. Because he sent me a picture is. of like, mm-hmm. I, hold on, can I replay it? I don't know. I, I have Snapchat. Yeah, just, there's certain countries you can definitely go see. Oh my gosh, it's it's now it's fascinating to see where the snaps are all coming from. Mm-hmm. Like where it's that's kind of cool. And now they got you. Yep, I'm yep. sold. I'm Never. just gonna Find my sit location. here and it's tap cool. around the world. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Um, well, going from yes. from creepy maybe stalker attack to creepy. Well, you know, well the robots are going to find us anyways. Uh, uh, Kim, <laughs> can you tell us what's going on over at CMU? Yes, over at CMU. Yeah, they 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 today. I think it was today they announced it. Um, let me pull it up because I want to make sure I'm stating quickly. Basically, they figure out that they have all these different pieces working in AI, mm-hmm. and so they're they're putting it all under one umbrella because they've got you know different people working in different parts of of that technology but didn't really have it as sort of one central um location or one central place for where you know if you're working on one aspect of you know ai that you could then work with someone else who's and and actually create something you're just working on one portion of it so the way the one headline but they're harnessing the power of collaboration so they're realizing that you know they have to put all the like robotics, engineering, machine learning, uh, computer interaction. They're all just parts of AI, but if you don't put them all together, you're not really realizing the potential. So now they're going to, it's it's called CMU AI, one of the largest and most experienced artificial intelligent research groups in the world. So, you know, that's pretty, if you want to talk about scary power, <laughs> CMU having that, all that, you know, sort of AI harness, I feel like that's, you know, a smart way to keep all of the, um, technology they have sort of in different silos that are sort of splintered now, it's going to really be a little more cohesive. And the things that are come out, going to come out of there are going to be really so, frightening slash impressive. So the companies that, that have the AI in, in, in Terminator are actually going to be CMU. Pretty much. Yeah, they yeah. will be Skynet, yeah. I think. If it's eventually. coming from anywhere at this point. Cause For sure. Yes. At least they'll have the robots. You know, those killer robots that Tom Selleck was... Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, 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 no. Boston Dynamics got sold. Oh, okay, my bad. So, my bad. To, to SoftBank, the <laughs> cell phone people? I, I, oh. <laughs> right. Right. So. so, basically, it's going to be really exciting. If you're a student studying AI, I feel like this is going to be a huge draw for students who want to get oh, into this yeah. field. The CMU already was such a huge draw, but now they have sort of this really cohesive 
um, program that it's going to make it much more co you know comprehensive for students who and want to study and, it. And already, I mean, they're kind of getting targeted because, um, like, the the um, didn't didn't they uh, CMU get kind of rated for talent when Uber came into town? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, they did. Poached was the word. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't that why Facebook went in with Oculus? I mean, they're in Oakland. <clears throat> yep. That's the reason they moved there was to poach mm -hmm. CMU students. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before they left, yeah. That but makes sense. what Uber did was they even just poached right from um, the robotics department. They just took people like they were first. It was a partnership. Mm -hmm. and then oh hey, by the way, we're not partners anymore. We're stealing all your people. So good luck. <laughs> so kind of the Uber way. Of kind of yeah, <laughs> yeah. Partnering, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It seems to be getting them in trouble with auto and all kinds of fun stuff these days. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, officially, by the way, I drive Lyft if I'm ever out driving anymore because I don't want to explain myself. <laughs> as a driver of uber because it's just there's too much that's mm -hmm. interesting it's just too much i yeah. can't i can't in good conscience participate at this point I'll, I'll only uber if it's not an option so on the other side as a customer which really it shouldn't lift adopt that as their slogan we're at least we're not uber <laughs> <laughs> or uber when, when uber's not an option <laughs> when uber's not an option there's there's lift but it's the other way because even like like i'm, I'm really amazed um you know, kind of on the other side of this conversation, like I'm amazed. Like you know, the last my last two trips were Lincoln, Nebraska, and Peoria, Illinois. Mm. Both have Uber, sure, and had active cars because I was just kind of I, mean, I had a rental car, I didn't need it, but I was kind of curious. You know, like what if you know something happened and I and yeah. I didn't need an Uber, or next time could I not get a rental car and just yeah, do Uber for Uber. for everything I need there? Yeah. Because I like that as a service and as an option, and it's probably depending on what you're doing, a lot cheaper than getting rent a car. Yeah. To be quite honest, yeah, depending on what you're doing. Yeah, and if sure. you're like you know, I, I you know, not so much problem in Peoria, Illinois, but I really don't want to drive in L.A. So, yeah. but thankfully there's a lot of lift up there. So. Yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah. So, you know, this is just, you know, see, I love when I hear the news and CMU is in it, yeah. right? For, hey, guess what we figured out these days? It's probably CMU yeah. at this point, right? right. Yeah. I don't hear MIT anymore, mm. uh, you know, or anything like that. So That's interesting. Yeah. I hadn't really thought about that. But yeah. Because everything came out of MIT. Yeah. Now that it's like they're done. Like now CMU is. CMU is. Yeah, but CMU out. has been at it for a while. Mm -hmm. And and I, I kinda guess. Kind of low key at it for a while. Yeah. Now yeah. Everyone's like, hey. And I guess this is like um, they're riding that kind of our technological reboot wave. And they're reaping a lot of that benefit mm -hmm. and attracting a lot of the talent. Yeah. So that's good to see. For sure. All right. I don't know where I got this, but I can only imagine that I got this from Katie. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't sound like this is a Star Wars Last Jedi trailer made entirely on a 1984 yes. Apple Apple oh 2C. God. That was my original Hold awesome on, let thing. Me, let me pull this up. Okay, that's why I couldn't find the link to figure out where it came from. <laughs> there it is on video for you guys that are over there. Um, it looks amazing. <laughs> this is great. Oh <laughs> Man, this is a long way from Oregon Trail. Uh, oh, there's a video. Here it is. Uh, hopefully, it loads for me here. Um, the but, project uh, was stored on 48 floppy disks. Oh, oh my god! Oh jeez! Like, did you have to load it like disk by disk for every 30 seconds? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Using Dazzle Draw. Well, I don't even know what that is. It was. I've never used that. I had Paint. I mean, look at the, <laughs> look at the detail on that for an Apple to to see right. So it's not even like the last Apple II. It only took him three weeks to create this very short clip with a process that involved actually holding up transparent plastic sheets against the monitor. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Amazing. Like, it, 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 there's, there's, there's a beautiful simplicity in, in uh, uh, that era of, of pixel art. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, but that's over on TechCrunch. And uh, you can check out uh, uh, Pinotsky, I think is his name. Uh, P i n o t s k i. If you want to check out uh, his clips over there on Twitter, so um, we had so. Geez. All right, K Katie's here, so we have to have our obligatory <laughs> this week in porn. You know, this week in awesome. <laughs> and they won porn technology. You know, I actually had a. Remember who I was talking to today? Like, I wanted to have a conversation. We're, I, no, no, I was talking VR and 360 with Ryan Haggerty. And I was like, you know what? We were talking about uh, augmented reality. I was like, you know, porn's going to figure it out, right? Oh, yeah. And and I had this thought of I want to go to like the adult, like the the expo they have out there in Las Vegas, just to see what the next generation mm -hmm. of technology. Like you kind of want to 
like you're kind of curious, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Like not even on the whole like it's porn idea. Just like so, what are you guys doing so over like, there? Well, so what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That can mean so many things at that expo, though, right? <laughs> you're like I'm in the bathroom. What are you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Stop following me around, Katie. Katie, what's happening this week in awesome porn tech? They figured out. I'm gonna give your own show at this point. I know. (laughs) And porn talk, porn tech, uh, VR startup hologram beat tech giants Google HTC to the punch by releasing. (laughs) I was a little nervous where that was going, (laughs) but I'll I'll let you continue. (laughs) By releasing a standalone VR headset that works without a computer and without a phone. Hmm. So they're the first ones to do it to officially do this, which is super cool. It's two twenty online Tuesday, in case you want to buy it. However, it's, twist <laughs> the quality is kind of the quality is low. Okay, but it's all porn all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's the erotica. Porn. Well, you, you, you only need mm-hmm. forty five seconds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what do you really need? <laughs> it has six movies though. <laughs> the bat- they didn't have to put we that did much a piece battery in it. Inside VR and AR today in our newsletter today, and I was like, "What are the movies?" And the writer was like, "I, I don't want to do that much more." <laughs> but you didn't want to push too much further into like what the movies. I want to know what the movies are. Yeah, I kind of K- do. Katie will do that. Though. I'll do that. Yeah, I, don't care. Do that. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> but it's easy. You click on the Wi-Fi icon. Uh, you sign up. You get an ID. You sync it. Put your headset back on. You got a couple buttons. Go. That's it. It's. So amazing. It says full HD display though. Yeah. So so what I think it is is the it's full probably full HD display, but the pixel density yeah yeah okay is okay. not. Have you ever noticed even on like Gear VR? You, I see the graininess. I see you, you I see, see like I look like I mean take take a phone and put it up here. Don't do that. It hurts. Um <laughs> and and you see you know the, kind of the cross hatch right. Mm-hmm. So Tomb Raider on your. Yeah, yeah, like Tomb Raider. I mean, but I feel like some of the games can somehow get because it's a game, and they can kind of soft shade, and they can do depth. a bunch of extra yeah. stuff. Yeah, they can kind of mask the fact that it's pixely when it comes to like, per, like normal everyday video watching video. I think it makes it even worse. Katie, what's going on over Katie, there? What's happening over there? Okay, so <laughs> there's lots of giggling just, going on as I, usually happens well, it, in this it's, segment. It's a good. I mean, I'm gonna. Okay, I'll send you the link here. Uh, but uh, I, cl- I I wanted to figure out what the actual here I'll slide down there. Don't watch <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> All right, I'll give you the link. Here it is. It's in that same thing. Badoink. Uh, <laughs> badoink. <laughs> actually is yeah, yes, but doing I think that's so it's their it's I, their it's content their, I think yeah, it's we their talked content. about this sorry but we have talked about that yeah they're, they're the ones that were giving yes. away like free cardboard or, but or pull something. up the website and just look at the image <laughs> hold on wait is it like can i show it, it oh it's clean it's, oh it's clean. it's it's yeah. just it's suggesting phenomenal but it's, clean. <laughs> it's, it's, it's clean enough yeah you're fine yeah. with an i mean i mean as long PG as we have the clean tag on the audio version of this i don't even care about the other one okay uh so it is I told you. This is this is pretty great. Yeah, okay. <laughs> We're talking about the one on the left, right? Yeah, the, okay. the gentleman with the. But there is Tomb Raider on here too. So yes. <laughs> they're they're out for the those listening at home. It is a gentleman with a young lady in front of him, but he's wearing the cardboard. But wouldn't she be superfluous in this scenario? Like uh, that's how real. Kind of, that's, that's how, how real, real it is. is. Yeah. You know, it's more of like a suggestive kind okay, of visual. Got it. Yeah. Than yeah, thinking actual. It's amazing. Yeah, that's. Although that also purpose. adds layers to this. <laughs> so, ooh, I gotta be 18 or over on the website. Let's go! Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh boy! <laughs> and when I clicked, when I made sure I, I'm not. Yeah, don't on. go any further than that. I, oh, <laughs> it is no longer am safe. I 18 for. or over? Oh, just just, oh, geez! Just stop! <laughs> I told you. Right in your face. Okay. On that note, <laughs> it goes right into it. NSF oh yes, you. it does. Um, <laughs> Hang on, buddy. No, I'm just. I, I want to just know the titles of these shows. I can't. It, I don't think it's going to tell us. This no. makes me sad. <laughs> well, we're just gonna have to do some uh, post. Your imagination. Exploration. By Verotica. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, um. So there's some. It's on event- Amazon. You can buy it now on Amazon. There's some events coming up this week. I just want to give a shout out. The Game Jam Finals are going to be happening this Friday at. Uh, Alpha Lab Gear. I think that's like six or seven o'clock. They're going to be doing that. It's kind of like uh, what they do at Startup Weekend, but they're doing game development a little longer. They started it last Friday over at Looking for Group. Uh, so uh, I'm actually going to be there as part of the uh, live streaming 
uh, crew along with our buddies at Work Hard Pittsburgh. So uh, check it out. I'm, I'm sure I'll be sharing the link probably over on Awesome Cast here. Uh, I want to see kind of what the people are going to come up with in, in, in about a week of video game development. So I'm glad they didn't give them 24 hours because I don't know what they would like. Porn. <laughs> <laughs> It's the future. I was gonna say I was gonna say pawn. <laughs> <laughs> what was the what was the leisure shoot Larry? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. This would be an awesome In thing VR. too. So, um, Heavy Metal Jesus on Twi- on on YouTube. I love his channel because he's, he's, he's a, like this insane collector and has a bunch of other people on their video game collectors, right? And they're talking about like, hey, here's all the Sega stuff you can find. And here's all the Nintendo Virtual Boy stuff. And they did a thing where him and his buddy used to work for Sierra Interactive. Leisure Suit Larry, and they talked about how they got jobs there and how weird it was and how probably likely because they, you know, failed in the long run. Um, it's really interesting to see, like, early days. And they talked about Leisure Suit Larry, and apparently there was, like, uh, you know, they talked about how when they first got, like, email and how, like, people just didn't understand you shouldn't be looking up porn uh, at work because they got <laughs> internet for the first time and how that was short-lived. Uh, so a really interesting conversation. Check out the Sierra uh, conversation over on Heavy Metal Jesus YouTube page. That was something I was really entertained by yesterday. Um, but, yeah, and then check out the Game Dev um, Jam. I said Alpha Lab Gear. And I think that's all the big events. It's a holiday weekend. Right? Uh, Anthrocon. Anthrocon. Oh, Anthrocon. Yeah. Yeah. What There's the heck? one other big thing. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, the furries are in town. What days is that? It's not like it's not like it starts Friday. Starts Friday, so it's over the weekend. Yeah. Well, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Fantastic. I hope the I hope the furries come to the game jam. So Doc wants it. Uh, <laughs> John Chichilla. That's John Chichilla, chillatech.net. You can find me on the Facebooks, the Twitters. Hit me up on LinkedIn. We've been getting a lot of good content, and I've been getting still getting a lot of good hits on the awesome tips. I still have to post the rest of the tips. you got to <laughs> post the rest of the tips, and we need to get back in and start filming some Absolutely. more. Absolutely. Uh, I have this 360 concept I still want to edit that we, we shot. So mm-hmm. uh, I didn't say I'm, I'm traveling less, so hopefully you have some time uh, that I'll get those in. Kim Lyons, of course, is uh, you can find her at Inside Ranch. Dot com. <laughs> sign up for the newsletter. Sign uh, up for that. The in, broadcast podcast. In, in the broadcast talk about podcast. All female in Pittsburgh. Of course, Katie was on that. Yes, she was. Yes, this is a really fun one. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I we was. did. Really we talked it. about Bobby Cherry because you have to. It's the six degrees of separation for us. They I all said, come back to Bobby Cherry. I love. I'm just like. I'm like. Wait. Why is this podcast about Bobby Cherry? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening here? That's so what happens. It's it's just just as you do, right? Yeah. So. It's, it's inevitable. And look for her byline all over the internet. All over the place. Yes. <laughs> Katie Dudas. Yes. Find me at pornpornporn.com. <laughs> Pornpornporntech.com. Did you just did you just register that? No, that'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, is it really taken? Let me check GoDaddy. See what's up. Uh, yes, you can find me doing scarehousey things all the time. Fridays at on the U- on the Facebook Live for yes. Scarehouse, and of course the podcast over at Sorg. Uh, scarehousepodcast.com part of the mm-hmm. Sorgatron Media family yep good podcasting goodness <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes sometimes there's negative sometimes they're talking about nudity over there too I really enjoy the the, oh. the naked uh, what is no. it is it a this, naked episode this week no this week <laughs> they talked Star Wars oh yes. even better yes oh talked. is the one guy that you were talking yes. about on there this yeah. week nice yeah. nice yeah. Let's get him on the Check wrestling show. First. Get some of the guys from there. So much fun. So, and of course, you can check out everything else going on uh, sorgatronmedia.com, awesomecast.com. Uh, I'm Sorgatron on the Twitter, the Instagrams. We're doing all kinds of stuff on the Instagram. I'm having a lot of fun with that. And uh, it'll include some, uh, you can probably see on my Twitter and Facebook, a lot of videos from last week's trip to Nebraska. And uh, and and watching a lot of smart people make cars, <laughs> so and make them race uh, for Formula One. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun there. MIT was there actually. I was mm. kind of surprised. I, they placed mm. in one of the competitions. So um, I think CMU floats around too. But anyways, um, check out everything awesome cast uh, all over your social media and here streaming live on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern time on our Facebook Live or a uh, quick link at live.awesomecast.net. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, our awesome chat room, uh, including Bobby Cherry. <laughs> including Bobby Cherry. Uh, <laughs> Wheels and everybody else has dropped in during the show. Hi, Mom. Uh, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.